Hi, my name is Cold Bear and let's start with Doom. The most famous first-person shooter was reborn in 2016, and since then it holds the overwhelmingly positive reviews not only on Steam but in our hearts as well. You will encounter relentless demons, destructive guns and fast fluid movement. Whether you are obliterating demon hordes in the single-player campaign or competing against your friends in multiplayer, people on Steam are saying that every priest will approve this game. You know, eradicating demons is a holy deed in every religion. Except if you worship Satan. Yeah, I can see the flaw of my idea now. I Software should create a game where humans are defending from angel invasion as well. Don't drink beer, it's a sin. They would say, and then you could just shoot them. <laughs> I would definitely play that. Amid evil. This is a retro-looking first-person shooter built on Unreal Engine 4, continuing the carnage of legendary Heretic. So if you are old enough and Heretic plays some strings in your mind, you already know that this game is worthy of your attention. Overwhelmingly positive reviews should help as well. You'll find 7 distinct episodes, each featuring a completely different setting and enemies, also magical weaponry that can be overcharged with the souls of the dead, and endless hordes of evil to eradicate. Players on Steam are praising the game because of its awesome music and visuals and incredible weaponry. There is also a VR version of the game available. Also, you can try a free demo as well. Borderlands 3 you blast through weird worlds and enemies as one of four world hunters, the ultimate treasure-seeking badasses of the Borderlands, each with deep skill trees, abilities and customization. So in this looter shooter RPG you will play solo or join the battle with friends to take on an epic enemies, score loads of loot and save your home from the most ruthless cult leaders in the galaxy. With bazillions of guns and gadgets, every fight is an opportunity to score new gear. And that gear is more than crazy. Firearms with self propelling bullet shields? Check. Rifles that spawn fire-spewing volcanoes? Obviously. Guns that grow legs and chase down enemies while cursing? Yeah, got that too. On Steam, Borderlands 3 is an owner of very positive reviews, so it's a no-brainer if you like shoot and loot. Just grab the game and be happy. Make your enemies unhappy by making them die. Bioshock Remastered this is an immersive sim shooter loaded with powerful weapons and interesting tactics. You'll have a complete arsenal at your disposal, from simple revolvers to grenade launchers and chemical throwers, but you will also be forced to genetically modify your DNA to create an even more deadly weapon, which is you. So there is only a small chance that you have never heard about the game, but I can assure you that Bioshock is one of the best first-person shooter games ever created, and this remastered version includes some additional content, 65 Steam achievements, full controller support, modern textures, and of course 4K support as well. Second part is also discounted, but if you never played Bioshock, start with the first part. The game is story rich and it would be a shame to skip a huge part of it. Impaler this is a minimalist retro arena shooter with spikes. You'll summon spikes to slay monsters, build barriers and reach higher ground. The game is challenging, rewards movement and each run feels different thanks to roguelike elements. Here you'll overcome the increasingly difficult hordes of monsters by upgrading your weapons and abilities. The game has a retro art style and really not bad soundtrack. Also, developers use their own engine so the game feels really smooth. Basically, if you feel nostalgia for classic Doom or Duke Nukem games, Impaler is a wonderful choice. Also, the price is a joke even without a discount. The game is short, only about two and a half hours, and can be completed in a single sit-down and evening, which is great. Star Wars Battlefront 2 Almost 90% of positive reviews, left by tens of thousands of players, is definitely proof that the game is done right. And I can confirm that. I played the game for several hours and I had a lot of fun, although I had to stop playing because I got the game on my PlayStation and shooting with the gamepad was real pain for me. I died way too often for my comfort zone, you know. Anyway, now I'm thinking of getting it on PC. The price is really nice, all I need is time. So this edition sold on Steam is called Celebration Edition, and along with the base game it includes all past and future updates and many other cosmetic things you don't really care to hear about if you never play the game. So here up to 40 players fight in massive battles, pilot huge array of vehicles and can even participate in space combat. Also one thing that is really uncommon for any game released by Electronic Arts is the ability to train offline. You can do that and only with your new knowledge you can start, you know, dying in real-time multiplayer battles. Yeah dude, don't expect to be thrown into combat with noobs like you. Everyone will have more experience than you do, but you have to collect your strength and show them who's the boss. Um, probably not you. Ghost Runner. 
This is a hardcore slasher packed with lightning fast action set in a grim cyberpunk mega structure. He will climb Dharma Tower, humanity's last shelter after a world ending cataclysm. You will have to make your way up from the very bottom to the very top to confront the tyrannical Keymaster. The streets of this tower city is full of violence. Evil Keymaster rules with an iron fist and little regard for human life. If you like Shadow Warrior and especially Doom Eternal, there is a juicy chance that you will enjoy Ghost Runner as well. Black Mesa. This is actually a Half-Life, just with better graphics and better, you know, everything. Keep in mind that this is not just a simple remaster, this is a quality remake that expands the scope of the original and massively improves its final chapters. Game is made by fans and it is made so well that it is an owner of overwhelmingly positive reviews. And to be honest, today Black Mesa is the best way to experience Half-Life. No clunky old-school graphics, no compatibility problems, great gameplay and a really interesting suspenseful story. To say short, Half-Life is awesome, and Black Mesa may be the greatest way for you to play it. People on Steam are saying that Black Mesa is one of the best remakes ever made, and the game doesn't give you any reason to disagree with these wise words. Generation Zero it may not be the best game on this list. It holds only a mostly positive review score on Steam, but the setting and the atmosphere of the game is really worthy of your attention. Honestly, the game was really hyped upon a release, and when people didn't get a masterpiece, bad reviews started to flow. That is a story of many games, and Generation Zero definitely doesn't deserve that, because it may not be a masterpiece, but it's not a bad game as well. Here you will explore alternative Sweden in 1989. One day Swedes woke up early in the morning, and saw that their beloved Sverige is overrun by evil robots. Where did they came from, who made them, nobody knows. Probably evil Norwegians who were envious of Swedish reindeer herds. Everyone knows that casual Swedish deer produces seven times the amount of milk than Norwegian deer does. Even the males. <laughs> That is the fact, trust me, every Swede in the comments can confirm that. Anyway, the price is really wallet friendly, and most people who left the review on Steam have from 10 to a few hundred hours of playtime on record. Bioshock Infinite as the first two parts, this is an immersive first-person shooter sim with a wonderful single-player story. While the first and second Bioshock games were set underwater, this time you go high into the sky, to the city among the clouds named Columbia. The year is 1912, and you have to rescue a mysterious girl or die trying. Well, knowing you, the latter option is more likely. Oh, come on, I'm kidding, you are great, never doubt that. Now subscribe. Anyway, the flying city is a beautiful and vibrant world that holds a very dark secret. Here you can rip apart time and space, to shape the battlefield and turn the tide in combat by pulling weapons, turrets and other resources out of thin air, throw explosive fireballs, shoot lightning and release murders of crows. Game has more than 90% of positive reviews and is a real gem every first person shooter lover should play. Severed Steel. Here you will play as a woman named Steel. You have a prosthetic arm and you use it to navigate the levels, which adds an interesting and unique element to the gameplay. And although Steel has no arm, she's not armless, if you know what I mean. Honestly, here you'll find a huge arsenal of arms, just not arms arms. The game's physics engine can be a little bit wild at times, which makes for some hilarious moments when enemies get flung around like ragdolls. And with a killer soundtrack that perfectly matches the game's pace, Severed Steel is really fun to play. Whether you are a hardcore FPS fan or just looking for a casual game, I think it's worth your time. It has more than 90% of positive reviews on Steam and that is always a proof of a good game. Call of Juarez Gunslinger this one and other games of the franchise are probably the most popular and well-known first-person shooter set in a wild west. Here you will play as the best gunslinger west ever saw and blur the lands between man and myth. This adventure made of memorable encounters will unveil the untold truth behind some of the greatest legends of the old west. And I'm talking about Billy the Kid, Pat Garrett, Jesse James and Dick Penison. Anyway, with a gun holster tied to your leg, become a ruthless bounty hunter on a journey made of all-out gun battles. Master the art of blasting pistols, shooting rifles and dodging bullets. Metaphorically, right? No, it's exactly like in The Matrix. You can slow time and actually dodge bullets. How cool is that? Also, I really like the narration part of the game. It is trying to hold your attention even when nothing is happening. Let's say you climb the ladder, but at the same time you are listening to the story and that is really cool. People are comparing this style with an action RPG game Bastion, which also has the narration implemented. This is a really great invention and I wish that more games had something like that. Well, with the ability to turn it off, of course. Wolfenstein franchise. 
I think I won't be lying when I say that on this sale every Wolfenstein game costs less than 10 euros or dollars. So yeah, in this alternative past, America is overrun with Nazis and only you can do the trick to make them all disappear, by leaving a bloody trail of their intestines and body fluids. And you are really good at this, a true master of the make a Nazi disappear magic trick. You have the guts, guns and desire to kill every baddie in sight and spark the American revolution. Wolfenstein The New Order and The Old Blood has the best review scores among the modern Wolfenstein games, but I also liked Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, which gets way more criticism than those previous two titles. It's probably because I started to play modern Wolfenstein games from The New Colossus, and only then I tried New Order and Old Blood, so I don't know if that would be good advice, probably not, but if you never played any of them, you can do as I did to be able to enjoy all of them. Also if you like the idea of America being overrun with Nazi Germany, check out the TV series called The Man in the High Castle, it is a really great show. Singularity here you'll be a witness of so-called singularity event that fractured time and threatened the world as we know it. Some say it was the day when everyone forgot the potato salad recipe. That bent time and space, a real apocalypse happened. So here armed with powerful advanced weaponry and the experimental time manipulation device, you'll fight enemies from the past, the present and the abominations caught in somewhere in between. With the help of this magical device, you will age enemies to dust in seconds, manipulate objects or outside the laws of gravity and degrade things or renew them to their pristine form. You will be a real time bender here. I control time and space. Like that. Hard Reset Redux. This is an action-packed and hardcore single-player shooter which embraces the best qualities that the genre has to offer. It includes loads of enemies, great weapon variety, a challenging campaign and a beautifully realized cyberpunk setting. You know, this game is quite cool. If you like shooters, you will probably like this game as well. It's as simple as that. People in comments are saying that the first levels are a bit boring for an experienced gamer, but later it's game on and it's really worth your money. And just look at that price. Any argument against obtaining this gem is invalid and it has very positive reviews as well. Halo – The Master Chief Collection This iconic release includes six games built for PC and collected in a single integrated experience. Whether you are a longtime fan or meeting Spartans for the first time, The Master Chief Collection is the place for you to start or to continue your Halo gaming experience. People on Steam are affirming that this is the best way to play Halo nowadays. If you want the best quality Halo experience, play this version over Halo Infinite. The latter is free, but as for now it has a bit too many problems. Although updates are are constant and it may become a serious game after all in the future. Like you can still become an outstanding penis doctor if you try your best. Well, probably not, but don't lose your hope. So the Master Chief Collection will give you the best experience possible. The games are action infused, but the franchise also has a large storyline and are among the best story heavy FPS games ever released. Prey. The game has a really cool story that has you playing as a scientist exploring a place infested by an alien life form. Yeah, I bet you heard that somewhere. If you dozen, hundred, million times. Despite that, aliens are really nice here. Well, by saying nice, I mean that they are the opposite of nice. You wouldn't want to chat with them about video games or best beer kinds in the universe or, you know, the best recipe for potato salad. No, they are terrifying creatures. Although, as I always say, not as terrifying as people who put pineapple in potato salad. Those are the worst. Just imagine this space station filled with them. Prey is a thriller, but that tiny change would make it one of the scariest horror games games ever. So anyway, Prey gives you a variety of weapons to use along with superpowers like telepathy or the ability to trick enemies by turning yourself into everyday items. Yeah, it may sound like nonsense, but it's not. You can truly acquire alien abilities and use them by stopping time or turning yourself into a bottle of beer and then you can roll around like crazy. N not suspicious at all. Well, this ability of turning yourself into a stuff could probably spice up the love life of you and your wife or imaginary girlfriend. I, I don't judge. but. First you have to defeat the space evil and escape from the space station alive. And with all the parts intact needed for, you know, spiciness. Thank you for watching and I will see you with another Steam Summer Sale video. There is always another. Have a nice day. Bye.